guys it's rose welcome or welcome back to the channel you guys do you remember about two weeks ago when i uploaded a video of my museum doing a speed build well i literally decided that i hate it now <laughs> So I flattened the whole thing and I'm starting over again, but that's really the story of being a perfectionist playing Animal Crossing, isn't it? So this is about the area that we're working with. It's a big um, flat area of land and of course being the type A person that I am, I went on happyislanddesigner.com and planned out how I wanted to terraform and build the rivers and cliffs as well as the bridge. So I used um a blue pattern to kind of signify where i wanted the water to go to kind of map everything out whenever i'm doing a really large area on my island i think it's a lot more helpful for me to map it out first so i use some in-game patterns and some custom design patterns kind of just whatever just plopping it on the ground to mark out where i want the museum to go and where i want the water to go from the waterfalls museum to be kind of grand and have like very beautiful waterfalls right next to it but then I also kind of wanted to have like a little secret hideaway in the back where uh, blathers could have like a little study spot because I thought that would be really cute to build in so I'm right now I'm actually <laughs> This is pretty infuriating, but right next to where my old bridge was, I'm building a new bridge. <laughs> it's a lot of bells down the drain, but I am trying to do a diagonal bridge because I think that will look really pretty. Diagonal bridges are sometimes one of the hardest things to map out. So the next day I filled in the area of water where the old bridge was and I started laying down some of the paths. I think once I place all the buildings, I am going to start decorating. So we had to go to our resident services area and talk to Tom Nook. Also, how cute are Nook and Isabel's fall clothes? Like, I just love that they wear sweaters in November. That's just so cute. I went with the Sisset. What? I moved my museum down and I went with a suspension bridge and I'm placing both of those now. And Sahara was bothering me so much during this build because he, she, they, they, I don't know. I don't want to assume Sahara's gender, <laughs> but they were really just in the way the whole time I was building. Like literally wherever I was putting paths down, they followed me and I was really 
mad and upset. I was like, what the heck, get out of here. Finally, I was able to make a decision on where I wanted my bridge to go and I kind of just fixed the water around the sides of it. Okay, you guys so now it is actually another day this speed build i'm not gonna lie has taken me so long to do because i've already like i said in the beginning of the video i've already done my museum area once and i just really wanted to make sure it was right this time and hopefully i won't have to move anything again <laughs> but i'm actually really happy with how it has turned out so far and now I can finally move on to my favorite part, which is decorating. So I am making a bunch of wooden items. I think I make a wood barrel and a directional signpost. And I have a bunch of wood items that are on the floor in front of this area. And back here, I want to build kind of like a study for blathers. That's my plan right now. So I'm kind of gonna focus on decorating the front first and see how much footage that is. Okay, so here I have placed down a wood barrel and then I tried an oil lamp on top of it and I didn't love it, so I ended up moving it. I think I changed it to a mushroom later, but I added a wooden bucket as well. And then I'm going through some of the items I have on the floor and I kind of wanted to put a street lamp there, but then I also wanted to put the jail bars behind it the jail bars are like when you paint them rusted i just think it looks really pretty with white street lamps in front of it and that kind of blocks off like okay this is like the entrance to the museum with when you're coming from the left direction and then i tried putting down an angled sign post and i didn't really love how that looked but then i put down a net and a little bug cage right next to one of the trees because i don't know i felt like it was pretty suiting for the museum to have kind of bug type things. And then I saw this desk in my nooks today, so I decided to buy it, but I don't really love it. So if you want that desk, comment down below and I'll give it to you. <laughs> totally serious. Um, I just thought the color would look a little bit more contrasting to the rock and it just doesn't. So if you want that desk, hit me up. <laughs> so here's me adding the mushroom to the top of the wood barrel. And then I couldn't really decide if I wanted to put my bug cage stuff, that little setup, on the right or left. I kind of liked it on the right side, but I liked it more on the left side. I feel like the contrast of the tree to those furniture, like wood, isn't as good as it is to like the pine trees, cedar trees. So I ended, did end up putting it back. Um, and I did get one of those lost item books and just place it on a stool. And I was kind of playing around with having street lamps in the front. And I think the white street lamps look really nice with the museum. So I ended up putting one on each side. It just took me a second to decide whether I wanted um, that the path, little circles of path under it or not. I ended up going without it just because it, I felt like it looked like two Mickey Mouse ears on the sides. <laughs> I don't know why. But guys, I did want to try to do this build all in one video, but this footage is already a lot. So I think in my next video, I am going to finish decorating this area and we'll build an area for Blathers, a little outside office in the back. So if you are looking forward to seeing that, definitely give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. I hope you enjoyed. Bye guys.